What are your hobbies? What would you like to do to spend your free time? I like horse riding because there is a national horse riding school. It's not really far from my、uh, apartment, so I can go there like during the weekends, and I will practice cello and I enjoy like, practicing. I also play the guzheng, but I can't have lessons in Hungary. Anything else? Yeah. Well, I also like watch kind of TV shows, but my and also musicals like Hamilton and Phantom of the Opera.、So. Would you mind just speak louder? Um, I also like watching like musicals, like Hamilton and Phantom of the Opera. Do you think yourself as confident? No, because I think I'm a bit shy sometimes. But I mean, sometimes I'm not. But it depends on the like the situation. And what was that to do when you grew up? My mom wants me to study medicine and become a doctor because then then I can. Tell them what to do and what not to do. Because I'm interested in these, like in law and medicine, because I think they're really like cool and you can earn a lot from like being a doctor and being a lawyer. Um. So you're into law and you're into medicine. I think I'm more likely to study medicine later, like when I grow up. Medicine. I think it's great because you can save lives and the salary is like really high. Okay, so what brings you happiness and what makes you happy, or just bring you a sense of achievement? So, like at school, we will count how many fives we got in the test, and they will give us like prizes, like, and I think that's quite cool. And and taking exams in like. Musical instruments. So, what is it that you feel so proud of yourself? I am in the like main orchestra, and I, I, I I'm doing like great three exams this summer holiday. But I'm I'm not really good, but I can. I'm quite good at sight reading. But my cello teacher was like, "Oh, you you need to slow down. Don't don't do like loads of stuff in the like at the same time." Because she wants me to take an exam later, and and I'm like, oh, I really want to like do more stuff. The the things you teach, like you taught me, it's so easy. So, in summary, you feel so proud of yourself for your musical talent. Kind of, but I'm not really talented because I don't have perfect pitch. But、uh, I think I practice every. Day. So you're proud of yourself for your efforts of practice.、Um, yeah. So you're proud of yourself for being diligent, hardworking, or dedication for the things you like. So in short, that means you are very、um, self-driven, and also your perseverance because you are doing things that is not so easy to be accomplished. I think it's a very good idea for you to improve your spoken English for the things you would like to express. Otherwise, people can't understand you very、um, precisely. It's a, just a kind tip. You should feel proud of yourself because I think your English is very good, but you are evading away from speaking out loud what you really think about yourself. That's because you're not so confident. You're not so sure about what you would like to let people know. So for the real interview, if you would like to get into a very good school, it could be shy. It's okay, but remember, why the should have a talent like you? You are very versatile, right? I'm very versatile. I I play cello, and I can play guzheng. I'm very good at two languages. I'm bilingual, not just English, but also German. And I even know a little bit of Hungary, so I'm the kind of talented girl that you would like to have for a current school. So if I were you, I would speak louder, so that I can feel, you know, more energetic, more dedicated, and have more attitude for the things I really would like to do. So don't be shy. If I were you, I would let people know the real version of me.